Would you believe it if I told you that Rhode Island's Department of Transportation was back in the news again, but for the wrong reason? Sure you would. Are you kidding me? Projo staffer Alex Kuffner reported last week in the paper that federal judge Mary M. Lisi granted a motion from U.S. Attorney Peter F. Nerona that required a number of actions from RIDOT. It all had to do with the feds enforcing the requirement that the state be responsible for its roads. What a concept. Here's what roadie DOT now has to do. First, pay a civil penalty for failing to clean and repair more than 25,000 storm drains and 3,800 catch basins that are responsible for allowing polluted runoff into environmentally endangered streams and wetlands. Second, conduct a first ever in inventory of the drainage infrastructure on the more than 1,100 miles of state roadways. Third, pay at least 112 million dollars over the next 10 years to see to it that everything is operating properly and this long-standing pollution problem is abated. By the way, where's that money going to come from? And by the way, again, first ever list of the stuff they own? Like, duh! I guess that over the last 10 years, RIDOT has been doing just about nothing to take care of this protective system. Cool. I bring all this up simply to remind you that this is the same RIDOT that is slated to be the recipient of proceeds from the big bond and which has already publicly stated that more than 90% of the money will not be spent on the maintenance of roads or bridges. Oh, this is all bound to turn out so well. Do we live in Rhode Island or have we moved in with Alice in Wonderland? Are you kidding me? Find us on Cox Channel 15 or Verizon Channel 34, Saturday at 4 p.m. or Sunday at 10 a.m. Find us on the web at www.gaspyproject.com slash Common Sense Rhode Island. Like us on Facebook at Common Sense RI. And follow us on Twitter at at sign Common Sense RI.